Hey YouTube, Nogorn here. Just gonna show you guys how to build the chicken house because I had a few people wondering how to do it. So, here we go. First thing, we'll start off by placing the chest to actually collect the drops and we want a ring of hoppers all draining into the chest around it. Gonna go up two blocks, put our nether rock on it, and light it on fire. I'm just gonna finish off this bottom floor, and I'll be right back with you. Alright, now that we have that done, we want to make the pipe for the chickens to fall down, and we want to set this so that they fall down, and by the time that they reach the bottom, they're adult chickens. And figuring this out, it takes about 58 cobweb blocks for them to grow up, so I put in 59 just to make sure everything works out perfectly. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Alright guys, I finished building the tube, and the way that I used to have this set up is simply just a comparator running directly from here around to there. That was because comparators would put out a redstone pulse along with the signal which would repetitively, repetitively fire dispensers, but they fixed that so they're more reliable now and unfortunately that meant I have to change this up a little bit. Fortunately there's an easy way to fix it. All I have here is a comparator measuring when there's a block in there. This repeater picks up that uh, one strength signal and multiplies it to 15. You know how repeaters work, it just puts it to full strength. This guy is in its secondary state, I believe subtra subtraction? I don't know. Either way, secondary state. What it does, it will put out the signal from this repeater, go around, lose three signal strength, and then go in as a weaker signal. And in the secondary state, the weaker signal will power it off, which will cut off the power altogether, allowing power to go back through, and then it'll cut itself off, and it'll just keep doing that. And it will take at the, or power at the maximum speed that redstone can function, which would be one redstone tick, which is two game ticks. We take that power and we use this, we put it into a repeater so that this block can conduct it. And then that in turn powers this dispenser. We can't power it directly into the dispenser because then it would also power the hop, yes, hopper, and depower or power the hopper and make it so that you can't put items into it. It won't pick anything up. So, let me just show this to you guys. And that's how that works. We got a chicken from that. Alright. So next part, we are going to need a building material, a sign, and some water. And, of course, you know how to get chickens. Now, you could put 200 chickens in here and get the ridiculous amount, enough to feed an entire hundred population server non-stop. It's actually really easy to get 200 chickens. All you have to do is put a couple of chickens in a setup like this and then feed it into a double chest and AFK there for a little bit and eventually the double chest will fill up with eggs as long as you breed enough chickens in here. Oh, you know what? We don't even need the sign. What I used to do is put a sign there and put water up here, but we don't even need to do that anymore. I did some testing and it works out just fine this way. It used to glitch the chickens out, but I guess they fixed that. So, we're going to put a couple chickens in here. It's good enough for now. And there we go. We're done. That's all there is to it. You can pretty this up and make it look however you want it to. And that's pretty much it. Chickens will lay eggs, Hopper will pick the eggs up, put them in a dispenser, this system here will power the dispenser, hatch all the eggs for you, those chickens, 
by the time they get to this block right here will be adult chickens and they'll burn up in the fire right here and why am I lagging so bad there we go well hope you like this video have a great day everyone